Nikki. Best female dress of the year for a movie. Share now, huh? Don't be active, Isha. In your toshed. Man, we do nice. We do breasts. Now, others ladies. Fine, fine ladies. Where they had to movie. Eh, you want full award? My name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're going to see darling thank you guys so much for clicking once again if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and to all my ogs you know what to do comment down below let me know gang gang now <laughs> today's video is basically a rant like today's video is a pure rant because i woke up and i saw that uh, uncle bob won an award for best dressed female listen best dressed female basically there was a, a particular movie that was premiering and i don't know what their dress code was but basically um everybody was dressing over the top something like it was sponsored by tiana um place tiana um tiana's empire you know how she likes doing all those her medusa type of dressing so everybody was dressing like that i guess maybe the title of the movie or something but when I saw that Bob won, but see, first of all, let me just add the videos. And I feel like for those of you that have watched it or you or you read this particular thing earlier today, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So these are some short clips from the movie premiere. Watch and let's discuss. Best dressed female. Can I have a check, please? Can I have her check? He's waiting. He's in contact. He's in contact. He's in contact. He's in contact. Where are you? So, guys, can your favorite ever? I know many people are angry right now. You guys are jealous. Yeah, jealous I want the best female dress. Like, I know not resemble your, your favorite the way carrying the old Nigerian problem for end. <laughs> We're carrying <laughs> Akoti. You know what is Akoti? Stood. I don't be that person, please. No, we dress very classy. We represent. We do what those bitches cannot do. And I came home. With the money, people are jealous that they eye me. Thanks to my makeup artist, our uh, foot glam. I love my makeup, and thanks to my stylist, Mimi O'Karen. Mimi O'Karen. O'Karen. I love my outfit, guys. Guys, we brought the one millionaire home. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Different people dressing in different ways, um, celebrities that turned up, you know. I feel like Vicky James and her husband were the only people that dressed calmly. The rest of them were dressed. I feel maybe the two of them were coming back from, like, church service and just stumbled into the movie premiere because they look so nice and modest. And then every other person is dressing in a chaotic fashion. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back, to, back to my rant. This is not a laughing matter. Um, on what planet is you okay for this thing that Lagos people are doing? Because first of all, eh, Lagos is taking the peace. This is an entire country. And then we have one particular state that is acting as if they are, they are New York. They are like woke. They are too woke for the rest of us. This is rubbish. I feel like I think they said the organizer should be um, there's a lady that he tagged, Eniola Ajoa and others. Please, eh, they should be invited to explain this nonsense that they just did. Because it makes absolutely no sense absolutely no sense it is not okay in any way shape or form that you give a man best dressed female i don't care if it's for clout or whatever if you have good pr people that went to school even those that didn't go to school all they need to do is to have sense they would have told you that there are ways to still get bob risky to push and hype your movie give him an award if you want but still not cross this line 
I'm going to give you that advice for free. You could have given Bob Risky best dressed without a gender. Best dressed. You can even give best dressed male, best dressed female, best dressed overall. Let it be Bob. Let it be funny. Because you cannot say he's neither, he's, he's not a man or a woman. Men cannot be offended. Women cannot be offended. But because Bob Risky is just the best dressed. We know his clout. At that point, it's a haha moment. Okay, yeah, it's fine. But then to give him best dressed female when there are ladies there, biological ladies, that's a line. And that's you, the fact that people feel like they can get away with this madness, it's not, it's not cool. And put it in our face that we cannot do anything, it's even more annoying. And for Lagos, for Nigeria, now, nah, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If there's, a, if there's a category for trans people, for people that are biological male that want to identify as women, put Bob Risky in that category. I don't care what you want to identify as. If you want to identify as bro um, breakable plates, rabbits, mosquito, it's fine. Everybody can identify as anything. When there's enough data and there's enough, um, 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 how would I put it, especially of humans that want to identify as your fellow breakable plate, we will now do a category for best dressed breakable plate. If he wants to be a lady, fine. We can have a trans, best dressed uh, male that have become ladies. Then let's now put Bob Risky and all others that are now dressing like that. If he wins in that category, that's perfect. But to bring him and now put him in the line where other females are standing, actual females, and then let him win because you think it's funny. From the MC that organized it, that was that that, that did the, the announcement, oh, she badest to the people that were like, bring her, check, Abby, bring her. Aren't nonsense. Aren't nonsense. You have no line, you have no boundary. You have no, there's no point in your head that tells you that this thing is going too far. We can laugh, we can vibe. But this is going too far. This is national national TV. Imagine you have a daughter. She goes to school and come back one day and says, oh, she didn't win. And you prepared so much for the award. She didn't win. She came second. Who won? A man won your daughter. A man. Will, you, will it be funny then? Why is it funny now? Even if you are not the one standing there, why is it, why is it funny? Why is, why is this thing acceptable? If you want to give Bob Risky one million, give him best dressed overall. Get your PR, get everything you want to get. But putting best dressed female is insulting. And the organizer should be ashamed of themselves. This is not, I'm not even going to push the name of the movie because it doesn't even make, at this point, I don't even want to see it. Because if this is your school of thought, there's nothing you're acting in that movie that will make sense to me. It makes no sense. And then I feel like simply because people are not calling it out. There are people in that Lagos that are Christians that are on the fence. Because you see a lot of people like, I don't want to say something, I don't want to offend. I don't understand you. I don't understand you. People are pushing this envelope too much. Cruz, be on internet. Be laughing and giving us tips. Hey, good girl, they pay. Let's laugh and joke, that kind of joke. But don't come out and do this nonsense. Don't come out and have people entertaining this thing to this extent. No. that's that, For me, I just feel, guys, let me know your thoughts in the car. I'm just super, super, super angry because I know that many ladies are putting their, their best and then they're there standing humiliated because you chose to give a man the award for best dressed. Just to bring clouds to your movie that doesn't make any sense. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't make sense because if this is what you if this is what you can promote, what you're acting doesn't make sense. If this is how far you can go for clouds, 10 minutes fame, oh, let them talk about the movie. It doesn't make sense. There's no point. There's no point. And there should be there should be some form of statement because I don't even understand why this thing is okay. It's not okay. The same way Leah, Leah Thomas Abina, whatever that one's name, is the swimming guy. I think they've they've banned her from the Olympics. I'll be him. A transgender person, born male, did not win anything in the male category, decided to transition to a female and started winning an award. And you're happy with yourself. Is that, is that not nonsense? Even Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner, that turned to Caitlyn Jenner, is aware that this thing is nonsense. He's a fellow transgender. He said, no, if you're born biological male, you should not compete. Do not compete in anything that has to do with women then this, you will not be given because you, you two get sense. I'll be your two woke. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment. We should have a line. Nobody's telling you not to identify as anything you want to identify. But don't know. Let's not, let's not shame biological females, people that were born females doing their best. We can laugh with you. We can live and coexist with you. But the moment you start crossing that boundary to come into our space, and then there are people that are stupid enough to start giving you awards, that's, a, that's mockery. That's mockery. That's, that's a line we shouldn't cross. Let's not do that. No amount of workness should make that okay. Because it could have been your daughter on that line. 
Now you're, you're saying there's nothing there because it's not your daughter that was going against uh, uh, biological males. You will have children tomorrow. You're condoning it now. Imagine the kind of society we are forming. Even with our strictness, see the kind of children that we came out to be. Even with the strictness of our parents, see the ones. I mean, it would have been worse. Now, in your gentle parenting and your wokeness, I pity the next generation. And that's the generation where we have our own children. If we don't speak out, we have leaders. We have pastors in that Lagos. We have Christian leaders that should be speaking out. But nobody's speaking out because everybody's afraid of cancelling, having a cancellation or whatever. <sniffs> Nonsense. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I feel like if we are going to even say transgender to transgender, Bob Risky cannot match J Boogie. That will mean my money is on J Boogie. J Boogie. Let the two of them go and meet all the best stylists. J Boogie will beat Bob Risky hands down. Let trans to trans now. Let's do it. J Boogie is one potacot boy like that that has decided to be a female. He's the one that had the kidney issue when he went to do lipo, be whatever. Him and Bob Risky should be the ones doing award. Not, not, don't bring them into female category. Come on. Oh, today's video is just a rant. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What's our value system as Africans? What, what sets us apart? Why are we so much in a hurry to blend in? To feel among? Like, what exactly are we adopting? We're not adopting technology. We're not adopting the use of AI to do other things. We're adopting it's all the bad, bad ones that want to adopt first. Nonsense thing. This thing doesn't make sense so as far as I'm concerned. So for those of you that think it makes sense, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It doesn't make sense. It will not make sense at all, at all, at all, at all. I don't even, I don't even want anybody to try to come. It will not make sense. So it will not make sense. Hmm. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. <laughs> you say if, if she if she identifies as a lady, we should we should respect her decision. As <laughs> okay, God have mercy. Hey. Hey, God. <laughs> if she dressed as a lady, she should have worn best dressed lady. So, I don't understand. These are the same people that were arguing with Pastor Funke Ad uh, Adejumo. That why is she telling them to have decorum? Why is she telling them to have basic, basic etiquette when they are going to see their in-laws? That that is uh, misogyny. That is patriarchal thinking. The same people are the ones that see this as normal. <laughs> Go help our future generation or know that the, the school you are, you are going to put your child. Some of these people that are thinking like this is where their children are coming to. So you need to put an anointing oil on your children's head every day before they leave the house so that they don't go and mix up with people that, ha that their parents have some kind of weird thinking. It's very important. We will not only pray for them, pray for the, the people that are meeting in class. Because that's... <laughs> it's well. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So even in the comments... Let's keep it healthy, keep it... We must not agree on every side, but no insults. Keep our comments as respectful as possible. I remember your girl, Asi Darlene. Please make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for sticking around with me throughout all this um, period. I'm trying to be so consistent this period. So help me God. Um, I have to stay up very late to be shooting these videos. But thank you all, all so much for the support. Um, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my other videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Everybody